Tiara here with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. You guys are probably wondering what in the world is a zebra corn? Well, today's soap is nothing short of fun, funky, and magical. The inspiration, I'm all over the place with this theme. I, I can't even really pinpoint where the exact inspiration came from. I knew I wanted to do a unicorn soap, but I wanted to try something different. There are just so many unicorn soaps in the soap world. Um, and then June, I'm a little late, I know, but it was Pride Month and I was just seeing all of these rainbow soaps all over my Instagram feed and I thought, hmm, why not do a rainbow unicorn? And then from there it went to the zebra, the fruit stripes bubble gum, and then turned into a unicorn rainbow zebra or a fruity zebra corn. It is available in today's shop update alongside Cinderella's Castle, Sweet Dreams, Dandelion Fields, Firefly, Willow and Ivy. There's all kinds of soaps in there. A lot of them are, I don't know, they're all my favorites, honestly. I did put uh, some deodorants in the shop as well. It's been a while since I've done any deodorants and something else new to the shop. I've added some whipped sugar scrubs to my inventory. The hope is to add them there permanently, but I wanted to do a little try on, see what you guys thought, um, maybe see how they hold up in the shipping and the weather, and then in the colder seasons come out with a line of different scents to go in there. So let me know what you guys think. Go check out the shop update if you are interested and come hang out with me while I make this awesome soap. I am going to mix my lye water solution into my oils with my coconut clay. Coconut clay, that's a new one. You think I'd know after all these years of saying this. <laughs> Kaolin clay and coconut milk powder. Tessa silk and sodium lactate is all in this recipe. <laughs> I'm going to whisk it because I just want this to stay very fluid. So I'm going to start off by whisking it and then I'll split this off into some color before I actually stick blend it. So that is what the plan is for the soap. We're going to try and keep this very liquidy because doing this design, you don't want your soap batter to be too thick on you. So I'm not coloring the base of the soap in every single color of the rainbow. I'm going to keep it to three colors and then the rest of the colors that are in the rainbow will be in the piping of the soap and in the embeds of the soap because I don't want to make this too crazy and difficult to achieve the design that I want and I just thought sticking to three colors would work so much better <laughs> for me. And those three colors are going to be a yellow vibrance in this bucket. We're going to do a orange vibrance in this bucket. And then in the other bucket, I am going to color it with some Trial by Fire, and these are all from Nurture. So orange, yellow, and red are going to be the stripes of this zebra corn soap. So the fragrance I picked for this is called Guava Fig and it is by Nature's Garden and it has notes of Fuji apple, French cassis, kaffir lime leaves, pear, red grapefruit, Sweet Valencia, Mediterranean Fig, Guava Nectar, and Passion Fruit. There's a lot of notes in that. And it is very fruity, very tropical, and it reminds me very much of the Fruit Stripes Bubblegum. It doesn't have any pineapple in it, which is a very nice 
change for a tropical smelling fragrance. It's always, and no coconut, you know, everything always has banana or coconut or pineapple, and I like all the notes in this soap. Should behave, does not discolor or have any Vaniline in it. So I'm going to hand mix that in and we'll get the molds over here. So we got our red, our orange, and our yellow on the bottom, our green on top, and then for the purple, the blue and the violet. These are my embeds. I've got some unicorn horns to stick on top. And then I've got some ears, and these are all made with soap dough. And I gotta say, you probably noticed in the end of that piping, I was calling it close because it started to get chunky and set up on me and it was because I was distracted <laughs> by some mail. I love mail and I have an obsession with subscription boxes. And so for Mother's Day, Bradley surprised me with the Belly Box subscription and my mother-in-law surprised me with the bump box subscription. <laughs> so feeling very loved and got so lucky because I love getting subscription boxes and now they're all about pregnancy. It's awesome. And I got one yesterday which was the bump box and I got one today which was the belly box and then I look outside on the step and there's another one out there and I'm like how many of these can I get? And I pulled it into the house and looked at it and it was a dad box. It was one for Bradley. And so my mother, my stepmother and my dad got one for Bradley for Father's Day. And I just thought that was so sweet and I had to see him open it. <laughs> Alright, so sticking all of these embeds on here and I'm hoping these aren't too tall for when I go to cut it and package that. But that is the problem that you can run into when making unicorn soaps because the horns kind of get in the way. 
Um, I'll put a little insert of how I made these. Just a quick little insert of how I made these. And hopefully this ties it all together and this unicorn just doesn't look like it's on fire with those colors in the bottom. I started reminiscing also when putting the soap together about all of the different bubble gums that were available in the 90s when I was a child. And a lot of those things don't exist anymore. They probably wouldn't fly if they did. There were just a lot of unusual and strange things that just made it made childhood so much fun. There were just these bright, colorful, neon, weird shaped bubble gums that you could get. Like uh, the Ouch bubble gum. They look like little band aids and they came in a tin. I don't think they make those anymore. They definitely don't make bubble jugs, which were filled with powdered bubble gum. Whoever invented that, where you get a, a mouthful of powder and you just keep chewing until it turns into bubble gum. That was weird. Bubble they had all of that uh, ooey gooey center, the flavor in there. I think they even had like cola runs, if I recall. Um, what else was there? Oh, bubble beepers. Beepers, you guys. <laughs> Do I feel old? Bubble gum beepers were like the coolest things to have. You pretend to carry around your own little beeper, right? <laughs> or the juice jugs. They were different juice cartons. So they had like orange juice and grape juice. Anyone remember any of these? Because I do. And splashers where they changed your tongue colors. Not my favorite. I think my favorite were either tear jerkers or crybabies. And I remember when the ice cream truck used to come around. Um, that's the candy I would always get. Then there was like that weird paste. Didn't anyone have that weird paste bubble gum where it came in a tube and it was the strangest consistency, but you just keep chewing it until it turned into bubble gum. It was like toothpaste. It was gritty and sugary. And I think there was even a Ghostbusters flavor. And that's pretty much all the ones I remember. I think they still make chiclets. Probably not. I remember those little packets of rainbow mini chiclets. But I have not seen any of these around, so I highly doubt they make them. What do you guys remember as far as bubble gum? What was around when you were younger and what did you like to eat? Again, tear jerkers, I love the sour stuff. Crybabies. Even warheads. Gosh, I'm trying to remember like all of the awesome candies we had when we were younger. There were so many. But Fruit Stripes is definitely. But next to the Hubba Bubba, <laughs> the worst bubble gum ever. I feel like it was just sugary and it lost its flavor after a few chews and then it would get in this weird hard bubble gum that you just had to spit out and there was no point. But it did have really cool wrappers, or it does, I think it still does, where you can tattoo yourself <laughs> with zebras. So that just had me reminiscing of all the cool bubble gums we had as a kid. That I don't think it's as cool anymore to be a kid and eat bubble gum. Alright, I put the last one of these on. I'm going to put a whole bunch of glitter on this, of course. It's going to have the Brambleberry Hollow Eco Glitter. I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the place and give it a spray of the rubbing alcohol and let it sit for 24 hours before I come back and cut it. And hopefully I don't mess any of these little embeds up. <laughs> Alright, let's get a peek at this mythical rainbow zebra corn soap. Oh, yeah, that, that is pretty high soap. Just barely made that one with the cutter. Almost lost a horn. There we have it. What do you guys think? Rainbow colors and all. It smells delightful, of course. Let's see here. We've got our red and our 
orange and our yellow. The green went back to a pretty green. Got our purple, our blue. It's funny, when I got done um, cutting, hey, I'm cutting the soap now. When I got done making this soap, I got an email. I, I'm subscribed to like this, e what is it, Evil Genius? What is it called? Um, I'll think of it. Trivia Genius. And they send emails with like questions oh, and fun facts. And so it was which scientist established Roy G. Biv of the color spectrum. And the choices were Thomas Young, Galileo Galilei, Isaac Newton, and Nikola Tesla. I guessed wrong. <laughs> so I guessed Galileo. And it was in fact Sir Isaac Newton. So for anyone who wanted to know, Isaac Newton came up with, ooh, gotta be careful here, the color spectrum. I need a taller cutter. One day, dreaming of a taller cutter. <laughs> I also would love to play around with this design in the future, maybe different colors, pastels, neons, who knows? The only problem is those embeds. Boy, are they a lot of work. They are labor intensive. I mean, the unicorn horns, I can knock them out easy enough, but those ears, there has to be an easier way to make these ears because I am not fast at it. <laughs> so this soap will be available on July 20th. Oh, that's today. You guys, this soap is going to be out today. I'm sure I will make an intro and tell you all about it. But this soap and others from Sweet Dreams, uh, Firefly Nights, those soaps are going to be, oh, Cinderella, oh man, there's a lot of good ones in the shop today, so be sure to head over there and grab yourself a bar if you'd like. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate you all, and if you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. I will smell you later.